So in this lesson, we are talking about HTTPS and HTTP2. Of course, we also need to talk about HTTPS when covering performance optimization for websites. Not because it directly has anything to do with performance optimization per se, but because it's required on a browser level to serve pages that are running on the new HTTP2 protocol. Or the other way around, if you're on HTTPS, there's hardly any reason to not take advantage of the new protocol. HTTPS is something that Google has heavily advocated for in the past. The latest statistics from SEMrush sensor say that almost 60% or more of all results for high volume keyword queries in the top three have already been moved over or actually are running on HTTPS. Obviously, it depends on the industry. Certainly, finance is different from publishing, but still, you know, HTTPS was something that Google has been very, very vocal about in the past. This went as far as them saying that this is a ranking factor, or at least that they give a tiny boost to pages that have actually been moved over to HTTPS. And Google officially stating that something is indeed a ranking factor has only rarely happened in the past. So this is really, really interesting. The other big thing that happened was when Google changed the way it was handling non-secure sites in their Chrome browser. So previously, Google started flagging form fields that were on HTTP URLs, but they were taking somewhat sensitive data, like you know, personal user data, credit cards, etc. And now Google is changing Chrome's behavior again. They will start to flag every single HTTP URL as not secure. So you don't really want to spend time on explaining to your users why Google thinks that your site is not secure. That clearly is going to be really a conversion rate killer. And worst case scenario, it could go as far as that Google might reflect this in their search results as well. Or, you know, in the future, maybe only HTTPS results will be shown at all. So the good thing is that HTTPS is relatively easy to implement. Also, the migration work involved because of the protocol change is relatively straightforward from an SEO perspective. If you do it right and follow the best practices, you should not expect any significant loss at all. A really important thing is that when you switch to HTTPS, you must also make sure that you start implementing a rollout of HTTP2 straight away. As by design, HTTPS is even a bit slower than the old HTTP protocol. The main reasons are that the certificate validation as well as the handshake to establish this secure connection, which is going to happen at the very beginning, this just adds a couple of milliseconds by design and there's nothing you can really do about that. Instead, you should brief your IT team properly and just make sure that they implement HTTP2 right from the start. For the IT guys, it is not really that much work. The server does literally everything and there's also this default fallback. So it's mostly a matter of switching it on, but it makes a lot of sense since the protocol is just so much faster. There are a couple of things that changed regarding the best practices on how to implement performance optimization strategies, especially for HTTP2. So the major factor is that HTTP2 works using streams rather than single requests. In HTTP 1.1, we requested different CSS files or JavaScript files, and they all came back one by one. With HTTP 2, the server opens a stream, and this stream can handle multiple files with different priorities, all at once. So HTTP 2 also introduces some new features like server-side push. There are a couple of things in the background that one has to be aware of to really fully benefit from it. There are some very old things like CSS sprites, in those cases it's questionable if they still make sense or not. Definitely really do not waste time on building them if you don't have them. You should also get rid of domain sharding, so multiple subdomains that allow multiple parallel requests at once. This really doesn't work anymore with the new HTTP2 protocol. Googlebot is still crawling using the old HTTP 1.1 protocol, bear that in mind. There are also lots of discussions about you know, when Google is going to change that. The release date is not yet confirmed though. With the integrated fallback from HTTP 2 to 1.1 though, it really doesn't matter though. Like if you have not yet switched over to HTTPS, make sure you do that and also introduce HTTP 2 straight away. If you are already on HTTPS, you know, double check to see if HTTP 2 is really running in the background. If you're migrating your website to HTTPS in the near future, or you know, just have switched over, 
you will want to use the HTTPS implementation report in the SEMrush site audit tool. By using the report, you will find out, for example, if your security certificates are current and registered to the correct names. Also, if your server supports the required security protocols and whether they are up to date. And also, if your website contains any different elements that are not secured with HTTPS, as well as much, much more.